thank you for joining me today. We're going to be talking about simple guidelines for nutrition for athletes. When what you eat plays a significant role in your athletic performance, athletes have different nutritional needs than the average person for the reason that they put more stress on their bodies which produces different nutritional needs. So here are a few guidelines to ensure that you meet your dietary needs and reach optimal sports performance. Number one, critical is water. Not drinking adequate fluids and staying hydrated definitely hinders your athletic performance and can even be life-threatening in certain conditions in hot temperatures. Uh, drinking only when you feel thirsty is just not good enough because we tend to feel thirst only after we are slightly dehydrated. Uh, therefore, drinking regularly throughout the day is critical for athletic performance and drinking upon waking is also vital for athletes because athletes tend to lose more fluids during sleep than the average person. So you definitely want to be drinking in the morning and drinking also before and after practice will support optimal performance as well. Just carry a bottle wherever you go. Just look at when you see it, it'll mind you to drink regularly. And drinking fluids voluntarily has been shown in studies to be more effective than to force fluids during um, activity or doing any kind of sport just to avoid dehydration. So voluntarily drinking from your water bottle is very, very important and it will help you replenish your fluids in the best way. Now, the second uh, class of nutrients, very, very important for athletes, is electrolytes and calcium as the main one because when we sweat, we lose fluids and electrolytes, including calcium, and calcium is, is not only an electrolyte, it also plays a vital role in strong bones. So, especially when you're young, very, very important to get enough calcium and also electrolytes because uh, without enough electrolytes, um, athletes become prone to muscle cramps and other problems associated with electrolyte imbalance, including weaknesses of the muscles and um, if left unchecked it can cause uh, heart rhythm um, disturbances and even seizures. So we definitely want to get enough electrolytes. Uh, these are substances that conduct um, electricity when dissolved in water. They are essential uh, for nerve and muscle function because these are so-called the electric tissues. They rely on the movement of electrolytes um, uh, and the fluid in and out and between the cells. So uh, uh, electrolytes um, are very, very critical. They also help hydrate the body and they balance uh, blood acidity and blood pressure and they help rebuild damaged tissue as well. Electrolytes are found in plentitude on a plant-based diet and this is why athletes that are following this type of diet tend to see an improvement in their performance. To replenish uh, electrolytes you want to include um, bananas, dates, raisins and coconut and avocado. In fact coconut water is the ideal drink for athletes especially when it's natural straight out of the coconut but you can also buy it in bottles it's rich in electrolytes and it has no added sugar and it's very very tasty and very very um, of, uh, nourishing so we lose a lot of water through pers uh, through sweat so definitely want to make sure that you're getting enough now there are some vegetables that are rich in electrolytes as well these are spinach beans all, well, all the legumes in fact beans and lentils and potatoes are also rich in electrolytes now the next class of foods is fats. Fat intake is very, very important for athletes. Um, certain vitamins such as the um, fat soluble vitamins A, D, E and K need um, fats in order to be absorbed. Fat is also needed by the body to help access glycogen and the percentage of fat in the diet has an Im real impact on exercise performance and even resting metabolism as well so it's critical for athletes. Um, the adequate range of fat intake for athletes is between 25 to 30 percent of their daily calorie intake. So it, it is a, a very very important, it has a very important role and when you consume plant-based natural fats such as olives, avocado, nuts and seeds then you're definitely also improving your health while also improving performance. Now, needless to say, it is important also to reduce the amount of trans fats you consume. 
and trans fats, they uh, affect cholesterol levels. They raise the LDL, the bad cholesterol, the so-called bad cholesterol, and lower the HDL, the so-called good cholesterol, which leads to a clogging of the arteries. Now, um, this uh, hinders athletic performance, and it also increases the risk of type 2 diabetes, stroke, and heart disease. So definitely trans fats, you want to remove them from your diet as much as you can. And trans fats are found in all animal products. So although um, there are some guidelines that say that you have to eat lots of eggs and lots of animal-based products when you're an athlete, this is just simply not true. And actually, it will hinder your sports performance. Now, carbohydrate intake is the principal source of energy from um, from food and for athletes especially and when you eat carbohydrates such as bananas brown rice oats or uh, sweet potatoes for example then your body breaks them down into glucose molecules and these molecules are stocked as glycogen and they in the, in the liver and the muscle tissue and glycogen is the energy store that replenishes the fuel for the muscles when needed now muscles and the liver tissue have enough glycogen for about 90 minutes of intensive exercise and although this can be increased through a carb loading diet about a week before a competition or a week before intensive activity this is what it usually gives the amount of carbohydrates an athlete needs per day will vary depending on their physical activity levels, their, the sport they take part in, and their, um, their environmental conditions. Uh, an article published in SportsMed says that consuming carbohydrates before training and competition will delay fatigue and improve endurance capacity. So carbohydrates are very, very important for athletic performance. The healthy forms of carbohydrates include, of course, fruits, root vegetables, and whole grains, all which also boost glycogen stores. Now, protein. Protein is critical for athletic performance. While protein may not give the fuel uh, for the energy required the same way the carbohydrates do, protein intake is very, very important for athletes as it plays an important role in growth, maintenance, and uh, the repair of muscle tissue. As an athlete, your body will have different protein demands than the average population, so you will definitely need to consume more than the recommended daily allowance for protein. Uh, now, whole proteins on a plant-based diet that include all of the essential amino acids, which are the protein building blocks, can be achieved by consuming whole grains together with legumes. Now, by consuming whole grains together with legumes, you are not only supplying your muscles with enough uh, protein uh, for their uh, building needs, you will also increase the amount of glycogen reserves at the same time. That's why this diet, a plant-based diet, a mostly plant-based diet, is the best diet for athletes. The keto diet does supply carbohydrates in the form of fruits, but there is too much animal protein there, which, as I said, is rich in trans fats and does cause clogging of the arteries, which hinders athletic performance. So to conclude, as an athlete, your nutritional needs vary depending on the sports that you are participating in, whether you are engaged in high impact sports or endurance sports. But in any case, nutrition is a key determining factor for athletic performance. Thank you very much. I hope you liked this content. If you did, give it a, th a, a thumbs up. If you want to, please subscribe to my channel. I'd be honored. And also, if you need more, uh, information on anything to do with health and nutrition, then please visit my website on www.thegorilladiet.com. Thank you very much.